This video was brought to you by Patreon. Hey you, how's it going? My name is Ruby Price and welcome to a week ago. Admittedly, a week ago that's off to a bit of a slow start, but that's because I slept in. However, it is my intention to try and sort out my sleeping pattern this week because the sleeping pattern of last week was crazy. It was ad hoc. It was something else. It was just not not productive because I'd spend, you know, a couple of hours actually waking up and then I'd just be completely out of sync with everything. So that's not good. But, you know, last week's over. Last week's week ago is about to go live just to give you an indication of how much I slept in. And this is this week, which starts with Monday Night Rubes tonight. My live stream at 7 p.m. only on YouTube. That's happening at seven. Uh, I think we might be watching last night's Elimination Chamber WWE event later, I'm not sure. What else is going on? Um, not much really. I've got a video in the works. Um, it's in scripting at this point. It's a video I want to get the words right for, and you'll see why when you see it, which is, you know, exactly why I script some videos. Um, even if it's just a loose script, there are some things that, you know, you just don't want to take a chance on. You want to make sure that every word that you're saying in that video is exactly what you planned, and that's why I am making the attempts, because I don't, I don't, I don't want this video to go wrong. Yeah, it's... It's a video that's been sat in my vault of video ideas for several years now because I've attempted to make a video on it before um, and it's a topic that has divided the trans community for a while but I think now I'm in the best position to make it so yeah. So aside from those two things, um, I think I might be hosting a grid talk this weekend as well and that's about it. Mostly. We'll see. There might be some surprises along the way. But that's why they're called surprises, because they surprise you. What I know I won't be doing this week is spending about half of it playing Magic the Gathering in extended t t periods. I will play Magic the Gathering this week. I think that's pretty much established, but not um, not as much of it as I played last time. <sighs> that's crazy. You know, I'm pretty sure I gathered all of the magic in the world last week. Anyway, should we start the week off? Let's go. As always, I don't want this vlog to be a tell, don't show vlog, but yeah. I've uh, just been quietly, you know, listening to music and doing job stuff and stuff like that, so yeah. However, now I've got a video to edit. Not mine. Uh, it's a video for Baxi Mafia, but it's still a video to edit, and that's important. So let's do it. That's all done now, which means that it is an hour and a half, right? No, that takes me to six. Two and a half hours until Monday Night Rubes, so it's gonna be fun. Oh, the lighting's all fixed because I've got a live stream to do. So yeah, we've got 10 minutes to go. I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. Killed some time playing F1 2020 for the first time in about two weeks. Um, and yeah, I am now ready to do a live stream and it's gonna be fun. It's going to be very fun. I need to stop, I need to get out the habit of looking at the top camera. The top camera? The top screen, because, you know, vlogging and stuff. And it's weird, because you're there, but not there. So yeah, I need to get out of the habit. I just like looking at myself, apparently. Makes a change. Makes a change. But still. <laughs> um, yeah. 12 minutes to go. And... Yeah. Got a drink. I'm ready, and yeah, um, that's about it, so let's be more ready. Are we ready for a live stream? Now we are. Hey you, how's it going? My name is Ruby Price and welcome to Monday Night Rubes. It's the, what day is it? It's the 22nd of February and it's a Monday night. Which means that it's a Monday Night Rubes, a live stream only here on my YouTube channel for now, 
Uh, who knows? Um, things could change at some point. But, yeah, I do want to know. People do let me know if anything does go wrong at some point. Because I don't have my moderator with me. She's upstairs after a stressful day at work. We have got Ali, all hail Queen Ruby, loved by the masses, feared by the turfs, ruler of Bedonia, and ignorer of alarm clocks. That's me. And that is going in a week ago. <laughs> Live stream's just finished. Yeah, my brain's a little bit tired at the minute. So, yeah. But I enjoyed it nonetheless, and that's important. So, yeah, thank you for coming along if you did. Uh, it was really nice to talk to people um, and, you know, just seeing people interact with each other and chatting and all of that jazz. So, yeah. Next up, food. And then after that, wrestling. So we're about an hour into the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Yeah, it's interesting. His face just looks... Wrong. Wrong. I've got five minutes to my appointment, so I hope that's enough time to make a brew. An hour and twenty minutes later, it happened again, but differently. Differently, but it happened again. Sat here for an hour. Appointment gets moved to tomorrow. I'm knackered, but anyone for breakfast? Thank it. Good pasta sauce. Cheap pasta sauce. Cheap pasta sauce. <laughs> <laughs> right, that makes sense. My Had my meeting. Yay! Uh, it went well. Uh, just another. Okay, so keep doing what you're doing, but also they're going to refer me. They're going to refer me to a scheme uh, aimed at helping with my unemployment situation, which is good. Um, but yeah, today me and Josh are working on my EP, which is probably going to end up being a two-track. But either way, I've started putting some wheels into motion for it being released and stuff like that. Um, but we've just got some stuff to re-record because I record my guitars to the limit, which is not how I'm supposed to. Have another authentic reaction. I didn't mean that. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three, four. <laughs> four seconds. Wow. So in the studio today we got the cover pretty much finished. Um, I think it is finished actually, which is good. Um, we got instruments sorted for the original. Got to do some more stuff with the voice, vocals, yeah, and that's on me, so we've got one song 100% ticked, um, and I started putting in some preparations for the release of it, which is good, I also had a really good idea for a lyric video for the original, yeah, ah, I'll tell you what, I am knackered. Cleaning takes so much energy. We've got a bed arriving tomorrow. So naturally, before upending this one, we need to make space for the new one. And as the resident unemployed in this bedroom, um, that makes me available to tidy up. And 
Yeah, I think I've done a really good job. Everything's nice and neat, dusted, tidied, hoovered, organised mostly. Yeah, but pretty sweaty too. Wow. We got a bed. So, the first step in assembling your new bed is to disassemble your previous bed. I'm not going to do a walkthrough of this because it's going to go horribly wrong. But I just thought I would, you know, show you what I'm dealing with. Hence why we have a new bed in the first place. Now, we get, now we've got a new one. So this, this is obsolete. To say that this bed was built with all of the structural integrity of a Victoria sponge cake Some of them screws were in hard, but a lot of them literally just required fingers But now, now we've got space for a new bed Wow, this room's really big when there's no bed in it This is gonna get so Who is she? Where are they? Is this park haunted? Find out next week on Supernatural. Please be emulations. Don't be let's go games. So we're getting something old and something new. They're remaking uh, Diamond and Pearl, um, which is coming out late this year. Which, yeah, I'm, I'll take that, you know. New Pokemon content, and it looks like they're sticking to like the old style, you know, it's more, you know, less, it's it's a bit more top down. The gameplay style is very, you know, classic Pokemon, um, which I like. And it's being made by someone not Game Freak. It, like, uh, there's two lead developers on it. One is Game Freak and the other one, I've forgotten who it is, but they made Pokemon Home and yeah, it's interesting. And they're making a new si a new Pokemon series of games called Legends, starting with Arceus. It makes sense to start with Arceus, obviously, because everyone knows the backstory of Mewtwo. And also, when you're releasing Sinnoh games, release the backstory of the Sinnoh Pokemon that created Pokemon, apparently, Arceus. So, yeah, that, that you did good, Pokemon. You did very good. I do wish I'd got um, classic games emulated, but I can wait. I'm happy with what you've given me. We, we made a bed. We made a bed. I'm knackered. So it's a good job. We're getting pizza tonight. Yeah. Oh man, last night's sleep was one of the best sleeps I've ever had. The miracle that is a new bed that, you know, doesn't have all the structural integrity of a Victoria sponge. Yeah, I like that simile or metaphor, one of the two. I'll tell you what though, my muscles ache because I went on the monkey bars yesterday in the park when we went on a walk. Um, and obviously I've not used my muscles properly um, since a year ago, at least. <sighs> this is so... Right. Mudkip, water ground, fantastic Pokemon. Trico, grass, but Sceptile with leaf blade is fucking a beast. Torchic, Blaziken, firefighting. Blaziken is just a weapon. Got her, haven't I? I think, I think we're going to torch it. I think we're getting ourselves a little torch it. I'm 
I'm gonna play it with semi Nuzlocke rules. Like I've got to give every Pokemon a nickname. But I'm not playing Nuzlocke. I think you should just play Nuzlocke and stop being such a fucking player. I'm not playing a Nuzlocke. That requires planning. So, it's a Sunday, it's Grid Talk Day, I'm hosting Grid Talk, and we are discussing the car launches for the 2020 F1 season, the 2021 F1 season. <sighs> yeah, um, just been putting together my show notes and stuff like that. We're all ready, and all of that jazz. Um, yeah, it should be fun. I've not hosted in a while. Um, I've not hosted, and this is a particularly, you know, not standard um, structure episode so it's going to be interesting to see how it goes but yeah I'm excited nonetheless got 15 minutes <sighs> yesterday was spent playing magic and Pokemon and that's it I've had a craving to be playing Pokemon Emerald for a very long time and I found my copy of Pokemon Emerald. The internal batteries run dry, which means the clock and time-based events don't trigger anymore. Um, I started the game at 10 past 12 yesterday, and when I turned it off at about half one in the morning, uh, it still said 12, 10 on the clocks in the game. So, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to catch an Umbreon, which is a shame, because I think that's my favorite evolution, but the game works. The save works. So I'll take it. So yeah, the podcast went about as well as can be expected, really. It should be out at some point this week. Please go and listen to it when you do. So I've just been doing some video stuff. I don't know, really. Like, this week's just kind of... The latter half of it has gotten away from me. I know that much. I've mostly just avoided being online and stuff. And yeah, I can't remember if I mentioned. We finished It's a Sin. Really, 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 really good show. Honestly, fantastic. I haven't really stopped thinking about it since watch, since I finished it, which is always a sign of a good thing. Caught up with One Division. We are now in the same position that everyone else is who has been watching it. One episode to go, which is the episode that comes out this week. I preferred like the earlier episodes. Yeah, it's really good. Unsure of how it's going to proceed. Unsure of how things are going to go in the finale. It's going to be interesting and I'm looking forward to it. So that's good. Yeah, we just ended up binging it all on Friday night. And what else? Uh, I've got a podcast coming out on Friday this week. Just keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for it. There's going to be some announcements being made on it. Not necessarily by me, but announcements being made on it. Which is good. I'm going to go and make a brew. Play some more Pokemon. Enjoy the rest of my Sunday before editing this later. <sighs> yeah. So we just played Monopoly, more specifically, a homemade Harry Potter Monopoly that Beth made last year. Oh god. Yeah, yeah last yeah. year. Like, we just never got around to playing it. You know, I mean, I guess J.K. Rowling decided to start being a cunt about the time that Beth finished it, but still. Anyway. I do feel like, like right as I finished it, something came out about J.K. Rowling, like she yeah. said something stupid and we just The article came out around the same time. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Well done, Beth, for winning Monopoly. Yay, thank you. You won by quite a lot. I never win Monopoly, so it's always yeah. really nice. <laughs> it was torturous. <laughs>
on the very, very rare occasion. I think it's like the third time in my life, honestly. Yeah, I think it's like the third time in my life I've lost a Monopoly. So, yeah. And on that note, I'm going to call that a week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do I let you know what YouTube stuff, like, share, comment, subscribe, etc, etc. As always, I have been Ruby Price, and I'll see you a week ago. Adios. Bye.